Hey guys, today we have another Android 15 based ROM for Redmi Note 8 and this time this one is pretty good actually. So few days ago I have reviewed Infinity X ROM which was based on Android 14 but this time we have Android 15 based ROM. This ROM is actually amazing. It is kind of similar to Pixel Lake ROM I have reviewed few days ago. It's pretty much similar to that and this ROM is actually excellent ROM. So if you are using a Redmi Note 8, try this ROM. So yes, I always do, so going to the setting and checking the what we are getting with this ROM. So as you can see here it is Android 15 based and this is the alpha build. Although it is the alpha build but it is stable and it works flawlessly. So as you can see here everything, Infinity X 2.0 alpha and other information about the ROM. And also if I go to about device and it is actually showing me update for this device there is update available if i go to system setting and system update so it is showing me an update is available like 2.1 beta version right now so they are updated the rom to beta now and i will try this rom later on actually but now let's talk about the alpha and beta going to be better than alpha as far as my users go the alpha rom is doing pretty well actually so as a android 15 based rom we do have peak as you can see here whatever you are looking so you can see the peak of the last page so you can check that so that is a bible and the android setting panel is changed although it is pretty similar to android 14 but as you know android 15 brings some like categorized system they also like doing like apple so they put the google information and other things on top so those things are there and in terms of network connectivity goes everything working flawlessly i haven't faced any kind of issue with network or anything like that and we do have customization option not much but most of the basic customization are available here the display section we don't really have ai wallpaper here but most of the settings are there in terms of battery the battery is doing pretty well and we do have charging control here not much but all the basic functions uh, in terms of security and privacy we do have face and fingerprint unlock both of them works so no issue and there was no delay if you keep your device for some time actually what i thought android 15 going to be pretty buggy for this kind of device because it's not going to handle well but android 15 actually doing better than android 14 based rom i don't really know what's going on but they're doing pretty well so those are what we are getting with android setting and also if you want to use private mode you have to turn it on from secret and privacy and you can see private space so you have to turn it on i did already actually so i will show you that going to the home screen so in terms of application this was a gfs build so gfs are here like google and play store so in terms of application part it is pretty basic there is nothing extra here and we do have MIUI camera which is working flawlessly no issue and if you want gcam you can install you can try it out here it's going to work and one more thing about this rom is that safety net is passed now so you can use bank application here on android 14 based rom safety net was not there so you could not able to use bank apps but here it's there actually and also we do have google play protect certification so as you can see here device is certified so everything is pretty good and also if you go to photos section and unlimited storage is there so if you upload photos on google photos you got unlimited storage here and in terms of fluidity the rom is pretty stable as, as i said everything works flawlessly no issue actually what so far i haven't faced any kind of issue everything seems to be working fine although in android 14 based infinity x rom we got gemini 2 there and also it used to like take a snapshot and search for that but on 15 based rom we don't really have that maybe on beta section they already included that i have to try that out but on alpha build it's not here by the way if i put the rom link in the description i will put the beta version of it because that is latest one and i'm not going to review the beta build uh, maybe stable one later on but in terms of alpha build everything seems to be working fine and private space is there so if i unlock it i can access my private space here and as you can see here all the application and if i open play store right now 
it will ask me to log in because it's kind of using two phones in a one phone so that's what's going on here and in terms of gaming it is doing pretty well actually i did play call of duty here medium setting and also it unlocked actually ultra frame rate 2 i don't really know why but it unlocked the ultra frame rate 2 here and i did not play actually with ultra frame rate but medium to medium it's doing pretty fine and gaming performance is pretty good so in terms of overall performance the rom is pretty good actually and if you want to try it out i will put the rom link in the description below so if you are using a redmi note 8 try this rom out so that's all about it thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one